Hi there. This is a short topic video focusing on the concept of productivity. Productivity is a measure of the efficiency with which a country combines the factors of production, capital and labour to produce more with the same level of factor inputs. Now we normally measure labour productivity as, for example, output per worker employed or output per person hour. If we take the factor inputs we have, land, and labour and capital, and we add in the change in the productivity or the efficiency of factors of production, that will generate for us the output of goods and services. So productivity is a key factor on the supply side in determining the productive capacity of an economy and hence also living standards. In the long run, productivity is one of the major factors driving economic growth and it also helps to keep down inflation. For example, a fall in productivity leads to a firm's unit cost of production going up. But equally, if productivity can rise, that allows businesses to pay higher wages because their workers are more efficient and also achieve increased profits at the same time. What's happened to productivity in the UK? Well, the story here isn't great, if truth be told. This chart shows an index of real GDP per hour worked using the value for 2007 as the base for our index. And I've put the line for the UK in blue and a separate line for the G7 countries, including Japan and the United States, in red, but excluding the UK. Hopefully you can see that there was some fairly strong productivity growth from 1997 through to 2006. But since then, partly because of the recession, output per worker hour in the UK has essentially stagnated. It seems as if productivity growth in the UK has stalled. And this is a major supply side issue for the British economy at the moment. Here's another way of measuring productivity. This is taken from the United Nations Human Development Report for 2015 and shows the level of output per worker uh, for a selection of countries. The data is uh, produced in US dollars and it's adjusted for uh, purchasing power parity. And you can see that uh, for this selection of countries, there's a huge difference in output per worker employed, reflecting uh, differences in productivity. These are some of the richest countries in the world. The UK has an output per worker employed of about $70,000, whereas countries such as the United States have a significantly higher level. Likewise, some of the outlying countries, in particular, of course, Luxembourg. So productivity is a measure of efficiency. And one of the big issues in the British economy at the moment is something called the productivity gap. Here's a way of measuring it. We take, in this case, uh, GDP per worker employed. The data is for 2015. And we take the level of GDP per worker employed for Britain as our base for the index. So that has a value of 100. And then we express productivity in the other G7 countries as a percentage or as a base relative to the UK level. And we find, for example, that Japan's productivity is lower than the UK on this basis, but the countries such as Germany are 11% higher. And productivity in terms of GDP per worker employed in the United States is nearly 40% higher. This is the idea of the productivity gap, and we'll explore some of the reasons for this in a separate topic video. But for now, we've introduced the idea of productivity a measure of factor efficiency, either of labour or capital or overall. And productivity is a key supply side measure for any, any economy. 